So I know y'all are getting this at the end of November, but I am filming this on election day. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges is a 1998 television release. It is available on Disney Plus. It is directed by Yuzan Palsy. Palsy and cinematography is by John Simmons. Editing is by Paul Lamastra. Music is by Patrice Roshan. And it's written by Tony Ann Johnson. Yuzan Palsy is best known for Sugarcane Alley, Simeone. A dry white season and the brides of bourbon island john simmons is best known for nikki ricky dicky and dawn family reunion pair of kings and all of us paul lamastra i covered in the video about mark twain and me the link will be in the description patrice russian is best known for men in black indecent proposal big and norbit tony and johnson is best known for step up to the streets me and Jadine, Crown Heights, and All My Children. The film stars Chaz Monet, Michael Beach, Leela Rilkin, Penelope Ann Miller, and Kevin Pollock. Chaz Monet plays Ruby, and this was known for Any Day Now, introducing Dorothy Downridge, The Inheritance, and Tricks. Michael Beach plays Aben, and is best known for Aquaman, If Beale Street Could Talk, Soul Food, and Third Watch. Leela Rilkin plays Lucy, and she's best known for Waiting to Exhale, Any Given Sunday, Gang Related, and The Big Hit. Penelope Ann Miller plays Barbara, and is best known for The Artist, Carlito's Way, The Freshman, and the Shadow. Kevin Pollock plays Dr. Robert Coles and is best known for The Usual Suspects, End of Days, A Few Good Men, and The Whole Ten Yards. Ruby Bridges is based off a real woman named Ruby Bridges. She was the first black little girl to attend an all-white school in New Orleans, Louisiana called William France Public School in 1960. Okay? So we're just gonna get it out of the way. That's 60 years ago. That's it. Ruby Bridges is 66. She was six years old. She was one of six students to test to be able to attend an all-white school. A few didn't go and stayed at her old school. The others went to McDonough, McDonough, number 19. And then Ruby went to William France by herself. There were, it was mayhem. Par white parents pulled their kids out of school. Every teacher refused to teach her except Barbara Henry, who taught her alone. Someone threatened to poison her daily. Someone threatened her with a black bar like doll, black, black baby doll in a coffin. She was six and they were doing this to her. Four federal marshals had to escort her to school every day. Um, her parent, in real life, her parents suffered a lot of problems. Her dad lost her job. Her grandparents got turned off their land. The store they visited to go shopping started to refuse to serve them. It was really nasty. Uh, what else? Robert Coles is a real person as well. He was a psychiatrist that wrote a book about Ruby Bridges and what she went through. And uh, he, all the proceeds from the book went to the Ruby Bridges Foundation. Um, Norman Rockwell painted Ruby Bridges in 1964. And it was called The Problem We All Live With. Uh, Aben and Lucy, her parents, separated. Uh, Ruby grew up and founded the Ruby Bridges Foundation in 1995? 99? 95, because this movie came out and it was already done. Uh, and it promotes the values of tolerance, respect, and appreciation of all differences. And she says, racism is a grown-up disease and we must stop using our children to spread it. She's 66 years old. She was six years old when there was a white mob outside an elementary school because she was attending it. That's 60 years ago. She's 66. She's alive and well. If that doesn't strike any of you, I don't, I don't know what will. As I said at the very beginning of this video, I'm filming this on election day, which means I watched it yesterday, the day before the election. So it came at a very high stress, high emotional time. And I was a mess for the majority of the film. I was crying for a ton of it. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to talk about this movie really without getting super emotional. And I know a bunch of you at this point, because I've been so outspoken about it, are with me on this. Black Lives Matter, racism is alive and well in this country. Systemic racism is a thing and it exists. Trump sucks. 
I hope Biden wins. Y'all will know, obviously, by November 30th. I'm in ignorance right now because it's only 11.37 a.m. on November 3rd. So, um, I don't know if I can, I can talk at length about it. Um, the film is moving, to say the least. Any movie like this hits very hard because it is applicable to today. And that's disgusting. Like, it was only 60 years ago. My father was alive when this was happening. My grandparents were well into adulthood when this was happening. Like, so much of my family was alive already when this, this was happening to her. And she was six. She was a six-year-old girl having grown white people scream that they're gonna poison her just because she was attending a school. Like, it's disgusting. And it's absolutely ridiculous. And I, like, I can't, I just, the movie was very good. I was a mess the entire time because Ruby, in the film, I'm sure she was that strong in person to, in real life because, I mean, look at her, she's kept doing it. I just, I feel like, Ruby's strength in this film is inspirational and she was six years old. Like she was, I couldn't have done that at six. Absolutely not. I don't know. I, I, it's really good. Um, there's so many, so many lines in this movie that were really powerful. I'm not particularly religious, but um, in the movie, the mom says Jesus faced a mob too. You know what he did? He prayed for them. And like to be able to just have that attitude toward all those people that are screaming those things at you. Wow. And then um, they're willing to let me die for this country. But when my daughter tries to go to their school, they're all up on my back about how it's their country. And then I think people are happier when they make friends. All these lines stuck out to me very vividly and um, poignantly. And, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can talk about it, um, for a very long time, because I'm just gonna get really emotional, especially just in the current climate. Not always, but especially in today. Um, it was good. Um... That's everything I have for Ruby Bridges. My final rating is seven drawings out of ten. Uh, our total movie count is. Our cry count is. <laughs> Parent death toll is still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie, watching one, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you'll find out what you're watching one. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. Fun things always going on over there. Buy the merch. Vlogmas starts tomorrow, which is crazy. I cannot believe that. That is so insane that Vlogmas starts tomorrow. It's gonna be fun, I think. I think we're gonna make it fun, even though this year will be a little different. And, uh, which means this is your last day to buy the Vlogmas merch, so you better get out at a cheaper discounted rate. Otherwise, you'll be buying at full price. <laughs> okay, go buy the Vlogmas merch. Um, until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm sure you are, so you do, and don't be racist. I'll see you in the new year, but also I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Oof.